Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 3rd of 2023 is titled Jupiter Abyss. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image taken by the Juno spacecraft, which is orbiting around Jupiter and is a very in a very unusual orbit in that it zips in very close to Jupiter every once in a while and then spends most of its time far away from Jupiter. Now that allows us to get up close images without staying within the intense radiation belts around Jupiter for a very long time. So for most of the craft's orbit, it stays far away from Jupiter, but allows us to come in and look very closely at certain areas. Now this is an image from 2019. And at that point, it zipped in only 15,000 kilometers above the clouds of Jupiter. And what we see here is what has sometimes been nicknamed the abyss. Now we don't know exactly what causes this or even what it is exactly, but it is sort of the central portion of a vortex on Jupiter. So there are a lot of storms in Jupiter's clouds, and this one seems to be a little different than the others. Now when we look at the clouds on Jupiter, the lighter colored clouds tend to be much higher up in the atmosphere and the darker colored clouds far below that. So even though we look at it sometimes as a smooth surface, it really isn't. There are areas that are higher and areas that are lower and by quite a big difference there. So some of these higher clouds swirling around it are again much higher up in the atmosphere than the abyss, almost a hole into Jupiter perhaps. Now of course we don't know because we have to continue to study it more and to watch, observe how long it lasts and to really be able to try to better understand it. The atmosphere of Jupiter is an extremely complex place with lots of currents and things that go on. We have other objects like the Great Red Spot that has been studied for hundreds of years and we have lots of other storms that we're studying in far more detail trying to understand the complexities and a lot of it has to do with the interior of Jupiter which generates a lot of the energy that is needed to generate these storms. So while the Sun gives Jupiter some energy, Jupiter also has internal sources of energy that heat it up from below and that can also help to drive the patterns that we see within its atmosphere such as the ones we see in this section around the abyss. So trying to understand the interior of Jupiter is even harder than trying to understand the clouds because we can't even see it and we have to use indirect methods to really be able to better understand what is happening deep inside this object. So that was our picture of the day for November 3rd of 2024. It was titled Jupiter Abyss. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Orion the Great. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.